the way I see it, there are two faces to each of your platforms. Facebook has family and friends neighborhood, but it is right next to the one where there is a white nationalist rally every day. YouTube is a place where people share quirky videos, but down the street, anti-vaxxers, COVID deniers, QAnon supporters, and flat earthers are sharing videos. Twitter allows you to bring friends and celebrities into your home, but also Holocaust deniers, terrorists, and worse. It's a big challenge without easy answers. 500 plus hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. And approximately 15% of Google searches each day are new to us. Now, some people say that the problem is that social networks are polarizing us, but that's not at all clear from the evidence or research. Polarization was rising in America long before social networks were even invented. And it's falling or stable in many other countries where social networks are popular. Forcing every business to behave the same reduces innovation and individual choice and diminishes free marketplace ideals. The conclusion is my constituents simply don't trust you anymore. With thousands of responses, over 82% say they do not trust big tech to be good stewards of their platforms or consistently enforce their policies. While it may be true that some bad actors will shout fire in a crowded theater by promoting harmful content, your platforms are handing them a megaphone to be heard in every theater across the country and the world. Your business model itself has become the problem, and the time for self-regulation is over. It's time we legislate to hold you accountable. That's what we're going to do.